Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, after a season like this, I definitely needed a night like this. Um, boost the team up. I like to bring energy to the offense, and um, we're gonna end the season well. Ronnie, walk us through that that touchdown run if you would please. Um, I knew the game was tight. I had to make a play. So like, as you like see, I was trying to make a play every time I touched the ball, and I just knew I had to make a play, and I knew won't nobody catch me. Rodney, short week, quarterback change. How was this offense able to pull it together the way they did today? Um, we don't miss a beat. It don't matter who back there. Um, we ready to play. I mean, you can put me at quarterback. We all can be ready to play. But it's not Nate. Like, how was his demeanor? You know, how was his control of the huddle? What you see with him? Um, Nate, he was very like confident. Like the whole week, it just seemed like um, he he knew what was going on. He knew he was going to go out there and win this game for us, like he did. He was telling me the whole day, "Be ready, let's go win it." Rodney, I think I think all but 20 of your yards rushing came in the second half. What what kind of flipped for you to really turn things on in the final two quarters? Um, game too close, so I got a chance to hit lead big, so that's what it was. Your offensive line has had a lot of changes this year, and a lot of injuries. What have you seen from them that have helped you coalesce as the years gone throughout? Um, there's a lot of young guys, and then there's a lot of vets. So I mean, like they learn it, like like they learn it. They know if they got to play, they're going to step up and play big. So, as far as Have you seen them grow as a group a lot? Um, yes, of course. We had a, like a new offensive line every week. Like It's a new lineup every week. So like they know and they have to switch. They just always be ready. And I appreciate them for that. How much do you think that Nate's ability to stretch the field with some of those longer passes was able to open, open things up for you on the ground? Um, You can't always worry about the run all day. So like when you got a quarterback that's going to really put the ball down there and, make plays, extend plays, like it's too much to worry about. So you can't worry about me and him at the same time. Like it's impossible. Rodney, your play tonight looked sharp and concise. How did you adapt to prepare for this? Um, I know I have, like, if, I, if I get an opportunity, it doesn't need always, it don't matter who to play. If I get an opportunity, I'm going to make something of it. And I got an opportunity tonight, so I made something of it. That was Rodney. the longest run of your pick career. What, what, how good did that feel? And you know, when's the last time you had a long 66 yard run like that? Um, High school. I knew I had the time. That was cheetah speed right there. I won't want nobody catching me. Don't do that. Right, this, is this is the third straight game of 10 plus carries. Uh, how do you feel afterwards? And, and are you eager to just kind of keep building on what you've done the last three weeks and continue that? Um, I mean, however many carries they want to give me, I'm going to take it. I'm going to do whatever I got to do. But if I get one carry, I'm going to do my best with that one carry. So. Does that rhythm speak true to the softness that running backs? You get that rhythm for more carries? Oh yeah, I mean, as a running back, once you get them carries and you get them good yards, you get hot. It ain't no stopping you, no matter who you are. And like I say, my offensive line, I trust in them. They get me hot. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep me and them hot. I'm straight. Right, well, most of the team may would have maintained its focus, even though you had some, had some struggles early on this year. Um, I can say we we're a brotherhood. Like we not like another like a lot of teams. Some teams fold. Like not gonna come out there want to play full time. We still want to play. It don't matter who we line up us. Like line us up against, we, like we ready to play. Rodney, a couple of those offensive linemen you mentioned were seniors. How much of a motivator was senior day for, for this team? Um, Before the game, they kept coming up to me like, oh, uh, yeah, saw our last one together, so let's make it special. We made it special. <clears throat> Anything else for Rodney? Yeah, Rodney, I mean, this is your third year. First season you win an ACC <laughs> championship. Last year you win nine games. What's this season been like for you? You've known so much success your first two years here, and then you go, to, go through a year like this. Um, I feel like this this year is like a like a learning experience. You feel me? You can't always. I mean, I don't know how to put this, but like you can't always expect like like the, the highest level. I mean, it's gonna be ups and downs. It's always ups and downs. Like this is the down year, and next year gonna be the up year. So we stand focused. We ready to come back next year, and handle business. So we're good.